Yeah. Uh, we go back to San Diego, where the mayor of San Diego apparently has removed a pastor, Pastor Dennis Hodges, from the police and community relations board because of his political beliefs, uh, staunch political beliefs that have to do with human creation and transgenderism, according to a lawsuit filed against the mayor for the pastor's removal from that. That lawsuit was filed by Advocates for Faith and Freedom uh, on behalf of Pastor Dennis Hodges. And uh, with that, I want to bring on the people involved in this lawsuit, the pastor involved, San Diego Mayor, uh, who is suing San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria, and Pastor Dennis Hodges, uh, also a an attorney for Advocates for Faith and Freedom, who filed the lawsuit Mariah Gondiero is with us. Mariah, it is good to see you again. Pastor, I appreciate you coming on. Pastor, let's start with you. Explain to me what happened here. Why do you think you got kicked off the police board? First of all, how you doing? I'm doing great. It's I, I great got, to have you on the program. Thank, thank you, sir. I was removed um, based on some comments that I made on uh, November the 9th of 2021 in the Human Relations Commission Board. I served in two boards. Um, I, was, I was asked to join both boards. I was asked to board, join the city uh, advisory uh, committee back in 2017, and I was asked to join the community, uh, I mean the um, Human Relations Commission Board in 2021. Uh, there was a vote that was to take place uh, on November the 9th of 2021 in regards to um, uh, the board supporting transgenderism. Uh, I, I voted in abstentia twice. I abstained from the vote. Uh, several other people abstained from the vote as well, but the second time that it came back around, uh, I was the only one who remained uh, in abstentia. And, uh, and the, the, the vote was to support transgenderism, uh, that board, to do that. Well, I abstain. Can, uh, we were on a Zoom call. Can I ask you, Pastor, what was it that you said, real quick, so we get to the heart of this? Oh, oh I first said, first of all, that I love everybody. I love, I love homosexuals. I love transgenders. I love those who commit adultery and fornication. However, I cannot support what the Bible uh, is against. And the Bible in Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says that man shall not dress like a woman and woman shall not dress like a man. It's an abomination in the eyes of God. And when I said that, uh, everybody said, get him out of here, put him off. We don't want him here. And they went to the Board of Supervisors to put me off. Um, and the Board of Supervisors instructed them to vote me off. There was a vote of 13 they needed 13 people to put me off. 10 said remove him, six said don't, and three abstain from the vote. So I'm still on that board, the county board. And then and then uh, I was in, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say, so there is a war on religion, especially in California, but many liberal areas. Uh, Pastor, I think you know this. They hate the idea of religion. They hate the idea of God, because if we can be beholden to a higher power, then we can't be beholden to government or those in control of government. Mariah, you've experienced this firsthand. I'm sure this is part of the reason why you took this case. You've been on many times talking about this, and I think this is where this all stems from, is their hatred of religion. Oh, absolutely. This case is a, a clear example of religious discrimination. The mayor pretty much just gave the case to us because he put in writing, and I'm not sure why, his reasoning for getting rid of Dennis Hodges. And it was because of his stance on trans issues like transgenderism, which to me is obviously on its face unconstitutional. You can't remove someone from public office because of their religious beliefs. But it also is nonsensical because it was a board on police and community relations. And he was on the board because of his background in law enforcement. And these issues never came up during his job. This was simply just another example of the mob canceling someone because they don't agree with their political ideology. Yeah. Uh, Pastor, I want to ask you, because when I learned about your background, I thought, I wonder if this has something to do with it. You have a background in law enforcement. You're on a police relations board. And uh, no secret, you're a black guy, too. And I would imagine you have support for good cops. 
Um, you think that played into any of this? No, I, I really don't um, because I've never had that issue. Uh, I believe if that was the case, because I've been on that board since 2017, if that was the case, uh, I'm sure that this something like this would have came up a long time ago. But that yeah. no, this was strictly based on what occurred in the county when I made mention it, when I made mention uh, about uh, uh, taking a, uh, abstaining from that vote, and then yeah. and then giving my reasoning for abstaining from the vote. That's totally about what this was about. Well, look, Pastor, what I say on this program all the time is we need more people like you to just be true to their beliefs and their faith and be bold and stand firm in the face of adversity. And so I appreciate you taking this lawsuit forward because it does expose this bias against religion. And uh, I want to thank you for that. And, and Mariah, as always, I want to thank you for bringing this case to our attention. Please keep us posted on all of this. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank Pastor, you. Thank, thank you so much as well. Uh, we did reach out to the mayor's office, by the way, and the mayor gave us, oh, so this is a huge statement. If you'd like to see it, we can put it up on the screen for you. The mayor says, we don't comment on pending litigation. How about that? Easy out. All right.